Welcome back to Mournful Walrus. I'm your host, Stephen Weathers, and this is the Oregon Trail Hunt for Food card game. Technically, it's an expansion for the Oregon Trail card game, but it's also a standalone game, so, you know, there's that. You were only able to carry 100 pounds of meat back to the wagon, 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 wagon. Featuring five new ways to die. The Oregon Trail Hunt for Food card game. You may A. Play the game on its own or as an expansion to the original Oregon Trail card game. 2. Hunt for wild game and search abandoned wagons. 3. Work as a team. 4. Decide which of your friends to leave for dead. 5. Carry supply cards back to the original game if you're playing the game in expansion. What's your choice? Let's see what comes in the box, 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 box. Before sending out your hunting party, watch the instructional video. You'll be 2% less likely to die if you do, which is not statistically proven, not even a little bit. I do like how some of these card games are coming with, like, just how to play videos, because sometimes it's really hard to figure it out with really badly written instructions. The ones in this game were okay. First on top, though, we have a set of four floppy disk coasters, which I thought was a really bizarre add-in, but honestly, I love them. I don't know why. They're just, it's just so pleasant. Portal internet, free software. Computer Tutor. Learn to program in basic Barracoder. I like how they're double-sided too. And then you've got the Oregon Trail Disc 2 of 4. The Oregon Trail Hunt for Food Card Game. For those of you who have already uh, attempted our arduous journey along the original Oregon Trail card game, this game will be played as an add-on to your existing game. If you survive this game, you will get to carry food and additional supplies back to your ongoing game. That's a good thing, and it could save the live, could save your lives and improve your chances of winning. But if you die, which is possible, both games are over. Please see the special rules in the back panel of the instruction booklet on how to incorporate this game into the original game. Goal of the game, work together to collect 600 pounds of meat before everyone in your wagon dies. It's it's actually pretty fun. Um, it sounds easy because each animal thing that you successfully get is 100 pounds, so you have to kill six things. But there's a lot of ways to die because this is the Oregon Trail. If at least one member of your party survives to collect 600 pounds of meat, the whole party wins, wins, wins. So the setup's pretty interesting. Take the hunting cards, and uh, you place the hunting cards face down to form a six by six grid with stacks of three. Um, yeah. Uh, what else got here? Start a game. Person who has the squirrel, <laughs> like that. The person who has seen a squirrel most recently goes first by placing the hunter on any stack of cards in the outermost edge of the grid and rolling the die. Die. Um, seeing as they have a video of how to actually play the game, I probably won't show you how to play the game, because that's... a link to it, that's fine, just click on the thing in the corner or whatever. You know, whatevs. So here we have tokens for 100 bullets, because it's, it's ridiculous, the game, the Oregon Trail is just ridiculous. Every shot is 100 bullets, so you're firing at, you know, 127 squirrels to get 100 pounds of meat. And they're nice little tokens, good uh, cardboard quality. The uh, the cutout could be a little cleaner, but it never is because it's cardboard. So what are you gonna do? This is our little hunter guy, and his uh, his has that uh, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Our little uh, hunter stand for our little hunter dude. Yep, that, that's yep, yep, yep. There we go. Got our hunter cards and supply cards and six cute dice. I mean, they're not like adorable or anything, but I like the, uh, <laughs> I like the little pixelated font going on for it. It's just, you know, they could have just went normal dice, but I thought that was a nice touch. 
But hey, I like shit like that. I'm boring. What do you got? One, two, one, two, uh, three, and a four. Yeah, I win. Yahtzee. That's how you play Yahtzee, right? No. Anyhow. So you got your supply cards and your hunting cards. I'm thinking we should... Uh, let's go with the supply cards first. Alright, so turns out only some of them were supply cards and the rest were more hunter cards. I mean, you know, that, that's fair. You need a lot of cards for the uh, the hunter playing field, the 6x6 six six field of 3 depth. Uh, I could probably... I don't know if we were to say that. You know what I mean. So, that focus. Fo oh, yeah. So, supply cards. We have medicine. We have more medicine. Um, we have... Okay, so... We've got a lot of medicine and bullets and stuff, so let me just, uh... <laughs> let me zoom out a little and get this, uh... Yeah. So we got medicine, stacks of bullets, compass card, and a spare parts. More spare parts. More spare parts. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good cyber guitar, huh? A nice midi, uh, midi mandolin. We've got clean water. I've got a crutch. And that's about it for the supply cards. So let me just get these out of the way real quick. Now, for the hunting cards, we have... Bison. Roll a one or a two to kill the bison. Uh, you you, sh uh, you kill the bison, you get 949 pounds of meat, but you can only carry 100 pounds. Womp womp. Bear, one or two. It's, uh, they're all the same joke for all the animals. You can only carry 100 pounds. So, bear, bison, I think there's like squirrels and rabbits and stuff. We got trees and bushes, which are just obstacles that you can't shoot through, but I think you can move through them. I can't really remember. Got the abandoned wagon, which just lets you pick up an extra supply card. Squirrels, a three or a four to kill 34 squirrels. I don't think 34 squirrels would be 136 pounds of meat, though, you know? Squirrels aren't that heavy. We got rabbits. Oh, yeah, there's deer. Uh, so, rabbit, three or four, squirrel, three or four, deer, two or three, and bison and bears are one or two on the dice. Oh, what else is in here? We've got... Dysentery, terry, terry, drowning, 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 snake bite, 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 bite. Several cards of dehydration, dration, dration. Uh, broken leg. I probably could have just put these effects in, in post, but whatever. Uh, exhaustion. And you're lost. Any more, uh, and rocks. <laughs> oh, it's a rock. So the broken leg, the exhaustion, the lost, and the and the dehydration are all curable, whereas dysentery, drowning, and snake bite are instant deaths. So, would we when we played it, we got lucky and didn't get any of the instant death cards. And I mean, in the end, it was just one of us who survived. But you know, whatever. So, bison. Roll a one or a two to kill the bison. From the bison, you shot 949 pounds. Dehydration. One clean water card can cure. If another player draws another dehydration card, then you've double dehydrated and died like a piece of jerky. Deer. Roll a two or three to kill the deer. You can only carry 100 pounds back, blah, blah, blah. Snake bite. You have died. You have been bitten by a snake. You've been bitten by a rattlesnake. Dysentery, Terry. You pooped yourself to death. Good job. Squirrel! 70 squirrels, 140 pounds. That does not seem likely to me, but whatever. Just roll a three or a four. Yeah. Drowning! You've drowned. Good job. Glug glug. So with this with the with the hunting mechanic, what it is is um when you when you try to shoot at an animal, everyone rolls their uh their die. And you you can everyone rolls their die, so all four people will roll their die, and let's say two people get ones and twos, and everyone else gets other stuff. Those ones and twos count, but you have to re-roll the others, and that will cost you some more bullets out of your bullet stash, which is why bullets are uh you know, important. Uh, I think you only I think you only get eleven bullets initially, and then there's a few more from the uh, supply card that you can pick up and stuff. 
uh, lost. If you get a compass card, you can save you. If you if someone else draws a compass card before you get saved, you have died in the wilderness. And it's basically the same for all the non-insta-death cards, like um, getting lost or dehydrated or things like that. Is that if, if someone else draws another of that same card, it kills you off. But if you can cure yourself by using things in your supply cart, like the medicine or the water or whatever, or I think a crutch, crutch for a broken leg, because that's how that works, um, then you're back to being good and you're not worrying about dying that way. Yeah. Abandoned wagon car. Pick any supply card from the supply stack. And then I think you have to tilt it sideways to show that you, re you, um, you looted it. But then you can't, like, do anything with that spot. You can't keep flipping cards over like you can with the animals. Because, like, when you shoot an animal... Remember, there's all stacks of three. When you shoot an animal, you clear the animal off, and then you flip over the next card the next time you want to flip that card over. And then you've got all of these blank cards. Which, initially, I was a little confused when I was doing the unboxing for this. Like, man, are these, like, custom cards? That sounds really boring, but no. Actually, if you look here, clearing cards. These cards have nothing on them. You can move and shoot through them. Well, that's good. Because uh, the obstacles, trees, flowers, rocks, and bushes, block your movement and ability to shoot stuff. So if there's a bear on the other side of the trees, you better walk around to get to the bear. Uh, that's, that's, that's all there is to it, really. I uh, got all the bullets. We got Hunter Joe. Just kind of shove him back into his hole. Got the dice, got the cards, and that's all there is to the game. I want to get the um, the original game at some point to maybe play with or just separately, because it was honestly a pretty fun game. It got kind of intense towards the end, where like only one person was still alive, and it was just like, oh god, oh god, oh god, is it a bear? Oh god, it's a bear! You know, stuff like that. But um, yeah, Oregon Trail, Hunt for Food card game. I get it. I'll, I'll, for some reason, it's exclusively from Target, but you know, internet, or Target, or eBay if you don't want to support Target for some reason. You know, do whatever you want. I don't care. Later days, guys.